Hello and welcome everybody. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install SQL Developer and configure SQL Developer in order to connect it to your Oracle database. So before going for the installation of the Oracle SQL Developer, you need to have a Java development kit installed on your system that is the JDK. This is the link from where you can download the Java development kit and these are the links from where you can download. I've already downloaded it. So the next step is you need to download the Oracle SQL Developer. This is the link of the SQL Developer download. I'll place this link in the description of the video. So just go and download this Linux RPM. And once you've downloaded, you can run the installation. So I've already downloaded this. So I'll install the SQL developer directory because I have the JDK already installed on the system. You can install the SQL developer using lum, yum local install and the path name. So this will install your SQL developer. Uh, the reason why I am using the yum command is because it will resolve the dependencies and it will also update my repository. If you don't have an access to the RPM repositories or if you are not having your own RPM repository, I'll show you a different command how to install the SQL developer. So your installation is complete. There is an alternate command to install the RPMs. It is RPM hyphen IVH the RPM hyphen IVH and the package name so by running this command you can also install the SQL developer so once your SQL developer is installed in order to start the SQL developer just type in SQL developer in the terminal and press enter this will start your SQL developer so it's asking to type in the full path name of the JDK so this is the path for my JDK you can give the path of your JDK so this is the path slash user slash Java and the JDK is the path of the JDK the Java file JDK installation I'll press enter So I'll ignore this warning and your SQL developer is starting now. Once the SQL developer is started, we'll start uh, to define connections for connecting it to your Oracle database. Just click no. Click on OK. So this is from where you can you know access to the documentations, you the developer forums and all these things. You can also see the online tutorials. So to add a connection, just go to this right side and click in this new connection. Type in the, the name of the connection which you want. I'll give it as test db. Type in the username and the password which we have you have given for the oracle database the connection type is basic and the role i'll select is ssdba i'm having the oracle installed on my local system so i'll leave the local host as it is the port as it is which is 1521 the listener port and the sid so sid is something which you have configured while creating a database so my sid is orcl you can give your or identifier according to your installation details so first you can test the connection just click on test so this will try to connect and you can see the status is as success so now you can go and connect you can also save this connection so you save and connect so once you click on connect your database will be populated here you can see in the left hand side your test db is connected and you can see your all the details of the database will be populated so your tables your views your additional 
your triggers all these things will be populated here so in order in this way you connect install the sql developer and connect it with your oracle database i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing please don't forget to subscribe my channel for the latest tips tutorials on android linux oracle and telecom once again thanks for watching